welcome to Kenyatta Creates. I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a small book haul. These are books that I either bought myself or my best friend bought me. Most of these books came from my local Goodwill store. I love shopping at the Goodwill. They be having some awesome books. The first book I found was The Last Starfighter by Alan Dean Foster. I love this movie. So when I saw the book, I had to have it. Um, I would read the synopsis on it, but it's a little distorted. He got one extraordinary chance to this. Yeah, I can't read it. <laughs> but it is the last starfighter. It's about a boy, a teenager who plays this video game, and the video game was actually set there to kind of audition for the next Starfighter, and he beat this game, so he was recruited into being a Starfighter to fight for the galaxy, and that's what the book is, that's what the movie was about anyways, but, you know, usually... They put more in the book than the movie, so looking forward to reading this. And then I found the Lord of the Rings series. I got um, the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. And the greatest fantasy epic of our time, the dark, fearsome ring rafts. Ring Wraiths are searching for a hobbit Frodo Baggins, knew they were seeking him and the ring he bore, the ring of power that would enable evil Sauron to destroy all that was good in the Middle Earth. Now it is up to Frodo and his faithful servant Sam with a small band of companions to carry the ring to the one place it can be destroyed, Mount Doom, in the very center of Sauron's dark kingdom. So I got book one, book two, The Two Towers, and book three, Return of the King. And then I found The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson. So I've, I've always been intrigued by classics, and so I got this one. And the next books were bought for me by my best friend. This one is called Bite Me, a love story by Christopher Moore. The city of San Francisco is being stalked by a huge shade vampire cat named Shet, and only I, Abby Normal, emergency backup mistress of the Greater Gray Area, Greater Bay Area night in my manga hair love monkey to <laughs> food dog stand between the raw ravenous monster and a buddy masker of the gen general public the whole book is hard to read like that i tried to read the book and i couldn't i just couldn't but it sounded i mean i thought i would like it but i just couldn't read it it was just like but like he talks like this, like, you know, like, and I was like, what? And it was like, you know, like, I couldn't. So, the next book he bought me was City of Broken Magic by Myra Bolander. It says, if it's, ma if it's magic, which wire do you cut? A thrilling ride with promise of deeper mystery to come. 500 years ago, magic created a weapon they couldn't control. An infestation that ate magic and anything else it came into contact with. Enemies and allies were equally filling. Only an elite team of non-magical humans known as sweepers can diffuse and dispose of infestations before they spread. Most die before they finish training. Laura, a new team leader team member has stayed alive longer than most. Now she's the last and only sweeper standing between the city and a massive infestation. So, got that one. This book I used to have, this entire series, but um, one, two, three, four, I got one and four. 
Um, I gave it to my son because he loves the series too, but he found these for me. So I'm really happy about this. And the first one says, Chris having risked everything. No, this isn't the first one. This is the, no, this is the third and fourth one. So I really can't tell you what this is about because that would kind of ruin it. But it's like a retelling of, uh, like the first one's a retelling of Cinderella. The second one was a retelling of, I think, Red Riding Hood. Cress is, I think, Rapunzel and Ferris, you know, the evil queen in the mirror. So, it's been a while since I read the series, but I do love it. So, I got to get Cinder, Scarlet, and Winter, and the stars above, I think. Then he got me Bad Blood by Mari Mancusi. When the Blood Coven decide that Magnus needs a mate to be his cold roulette, Sunny's humanity puts her out of the running. The chosen candidate is Jane Johnson, an Oxford University graduate who just happens to look like a vampire supermodel. Sunny is suspicious of Rhodes Scholar who can't answer the most basic poly side questions but Magnus brushes it off as a petty jealousy. Still, when the Blood Coven goes to Las Vegas for a vampire convention where Magnus and Jane's bonding ceremony will be the main event, Sunny and her twin sister, Rain, secretly tag along and Sunny's not going home before the for she learns the truth about Jane because not everything stays in Vegas especially bad blood. So I got that one. Then this one, Bartimus, The Ring of Solomon by Jonathan Stroud. I almost bought this myself a while ago, some year, a couple years ago from Book Outlet, but I didn't. In 1950 BCE, and King Solomon ruled Jerusalem with a steely hand, a hand a hand on which gleams a magic ring of immense and unforgiving power. Solomon had just begun work on his marvelous temple, charging Kaaba, a formidable magician in his royal court, to oversee its construction. The workforce is an ill-behaved bunch of demons, a particularly unruly Jenny named Bartimus, among them, true to form, Bartimus, oh, these words are small, promptly gets kicked off the temple project and assigned to even more miserable tasks of hunting bandits in the desert. There he crosses path with Asmira, a highly skilled and loyal captain of the Queen of Sheba's guard on a suicidal mission to save her country from Solomon's Im Im imminent attack. Of course, Bartimus has no intention of helping her. That is until Asmira makes him an offer he cannot refuse. A spell binding, a spell bound, binding addition, addition to John Johnson Strauss, New York Times best-selling Bartman books, The Ring of Solomon. So, sounds interesting. I know about Solomon, so but this is a different twist to it. And then he got me the Artemis Fowl series, the Criminal Mastermind Collection by Eon Kofer. And so I got the Artemis Fowl. Artemis Fowl Eternal Code and Artemis Fowl The Arctic Incident. Let's see, the first one. 12 year old Artemis Fowl is a millionaire, a genius, and above all, a criminal mastermind. But even Artemis doesn't know that he's taken on, taken on when he has kidnapped a fairy, Captain Holly Short of the LEP Precon Unit. 
These aren't the fairies of bedtime stories. They are dangerous, full of unexpected twists and turns. Artemis Fowl is a riveting magical adventure. And he also got me these adult color books. This is Portable Color Me Calm, 70 color templates for meditation and relaxation. I've never had an adult color book, so these were nice to get. I wonder why the lines are so small. <laughs> And this is the last one. They're pretty. Just gonna be a little difficult to color. So I believe he found all these at the Goodwill. So that is, a, that is my small book haul. I'm very appreciative to my best friend. Thank you. Sometimes he watches my videos. So thank you so much. I love my books. And I appreciate you so much. So thank you for taking the time to watch. Give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post another video. And let me apologize for stumbling through the, uh, the synopsis because... If they, some of the words are so small, I can't even see with my glasses on. So, <laughs> thank you for taking time to watch. See you in my next video. Bye.